So I'm starting to get really excited here because it's opening day and things look like they're going to script. Essentially in the evenings, um, I've gotten some one and two year olds, they would filter through and, and move on to wherever they're going. And then two does would come in and sometimes alone, sometimes together. But uh, during archery season, a nice buck came through and it was coming through regularly and he was jacked up. Uh, he didn't care. And I got a really nice shot on him, and I know that's what all hunters say, really nice shot, but uh, my brother and I searched for him for about four hours, and, and we lost the blood trail, vanished, and, uh, and it was not to be, and unfortunately that's the way it was. And I didn't think I'd get another shot at a buck this year, but now I've been having a buck come through, and, and I'm really excited about that, and that's what I think is gonna happen here. And really, I've gotten a lot more action uh, than I have in the past four or five years because I put this field uh, not too far away from where I hunt. And I have some, you know, stills right here of some buck action up in that field, which was kind of cool. Um, but you can see them going at it. And um, I have another video of the buck I'm expecting. This is what I am expecting to come in. And, and that's a nice northern Michigan buck. Right? It, it, I'm sure there's a lot bigger out there and, and I would be happy with one bigger, but that's a nice buck right there and I'd be happy to have that uh, come in and, and, and be able to have a shot at him. But unfortunately, this was all that I got to, to see the rest of the evening. Uh, it was a really nice evening. I enjoyed the opening day and, and hopefully, you know, this is pure Michigan. So hopefully for all you guys that are out there hunting by yourself or with parties, you're having a great time. Deer, no deer, hopefully things are going well. And uh, for me, uh, you know, it got dark and I climbed down and, you know, I was, you know, I was in a good mood. You know, it didn't work out the way I wanted, but uh, I decided I'm, I'm going to a buck pole that's not far from me. And I've been there before. It's it's been a nice vibe, and, and you know what? It, it's cool to see the hunters come in with, with their party or you know their wife or girlfriend and, and, and take pictures. So I'm gonna show you that right now. I'm gonna show you the buck pole I went to. I have a, a few pictures there, but it, even so, as you drive around the state, right? This is a state thing. It's, it's, it's in the fabric of the state. It, you know, you see signs like this everywhere. Welcome hunters, November 15th. Well, here it is, the buck pole, and the bucks are hung up. It's about seven o'clock, so it'll fill up some more, but uh, you can get a load of some of the deer that are coming out and, and the racks they have. You know, it's kind of cool. You, know, you got little kids in there. When I came up, there's a little kid and his brother. They were counting the, you know, looking at the antlers and counting the points. But uh, why I put this in here, uh, not just the, the, the buck pole but this guy in particular is a pro these guys do it right I've seen buck poles and that have not certainly been this good but he look at the way he wraps these legs he does it the same way for every deer and then yeah, he puts it on the winch the winch uh, you know it has a scale attached to it and he calls out the weight 136 and uh, that's kind of cool you know and um, you know, he's got his process, it's, it's very good, it's efficient. Guys just drive right in and, and boom, they're out, he's getting it set up. You know, it's, it's little set up on his side, he's got a ladder and he's got this pole with a hook on the end. And what he does, if you watch here, is he just unwinds the rope that he wrapped around that deer and Sure enough, you know, it's, uh, I'm sure these are prepped in advance, but uh, it's ready to go up there. You know, it, it, it's very easy for them right here, and boom, they'll, they'll put the winch down and it'll be in good position. And honestly, A1A hats off to these guys. They do it upright. This is uh, a, a great job, and, and uh, that's the kind of environment there was. There were, there, you know, uh, I don't know if there's a PTA was out front. They were selling tickets, uh, not tickets, but uh, baked goods. So, you know, I bought something and, 
And that's the kind of vibe it was for opening day in Michigan. So uh, for everybody else, you know, hopefully you'll get a chance to experience that. And uh, we'll be talking to you.